Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be checking out an awesome website and tool that has over 3 million Linux packages cataloged and that is often overlooked. This site can make your life easier when searching through packages for Linux distributions. I am currently on the pkgs.org website where we can go through a list of branches that are available per each distribution as well as the packages available in each branch. So if we opened up something like Debian SID, which is the non-stable version of Debian, we can see the various different branches available here, including Debian main, non-free and contribution. And then the third party ones as well. Those are mentioned for us. Very nice. We also can see which architecture each of the branches have packages available for, but we can go through to another very well known distribution called Arch Linux. And we have the x86-64 architecture with a ton of branches available and a ton of packages. You can see the package numbers. You can see the amount of packages in every branch here. We have official branches, third party branches again, and this is quite a great website. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to smash that like button for me. So how do we make the best use of this website? Well, the easiest way, if, if you already know your package name, you can simply type it in the search bar up top on the website. What's great about this is it shows you, for example, if we checked out the build dash essential package, we can see what's available. So let's just do that real quick. Notice how this is only available for Debian and Ubuntu based distributions. And what's great is we see exactly what versions have the build essentials package available and for what architectures. You even get the version, so 12.9 for here, 12.8 in the 2104 Ubuntu Linux distro, as you can see across the board here, and 12.4 back dating in the 1804 release. So they haven't quite updated that package, but this is great because Debian and Ubuntu have this, but now we can tell that Arch Linux perhaps doesn't have this package. So it could be actually a different package name. So if we look for build again, one of my favorite parts is it makes suggestions here based on what you're typing in. Another great feature to this website. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below, pkgs.org. The reason we don't see it here labeled in Arch is because it's part of the base dash D-E-V-L package. And if we search, we'll see that that's available in quite a few more distributions here, including Solus, PC, Linux OS, Fedora, and many more here like CentOS. You can also go back to the home page and filter through packages in repos and specify which architecture you would like your package for. So if we wanted to select one of the 46 distributions, we can in here. Perhaps we only wanted Fedora 34 and only the Intel 64-bit architecture, and then no third party, only official repo results. We can do that as soon as you hit close, you have the official repos that are available. So for Fedora, Fedora official repos, if we click on there, the most packages are available through the official Fedora repo. We can see all the various different packages available on the left hand side. You can click on one and it gives you a ton of information about each individual package. Again, a great website to compare between distributions and what's available in those distributions as far as packages go. I also like the alternatives section where you can get a alternative to the package that you're looking at. Continuing on, another great thing to look at is the summary. You get a quick summary of each of the individual packages, just a basic sentence to let you know what you're going to be downloading if you choose to install any of the listed packages. Also, one other thing I like is if you open up one of these repos, Let's go back to the main portion here and we'll select a different Linux distribution, perhaps Arch Linux this time. I'll remove Fedora. Let's close this and look at all the official repos available here. So we'll look at the Arch Linux community since it has the most official packages in the repo, 8,457. I'll check that out. And what's nice here, you can do a simple control F in your browser and search for something through the summary. So if you don't necessarily know what a package is called, but you kind of know a little bit of what it does, such as processes, we can see there's 25 results and we can go through and see anything that pertains to processes. And that's a little neat thing to keep in mind as well. Search through those summaries if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. And now let's go to the about section. I've pretty much gone through how to kind of use the website and let's talk about 
pkgs.org. And remember, I'll be putting that link in the description below. But before we do, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. In my opinion, packages.org is a great website. It's at least worth making a bookmark and having it as a reference in the future when you end up needing to search through packages or perhaps are moving between distributions and want to confirm a package exists between the two distributions. On the About Us page here, which I have pulled up, you get a list of distributions that are available with some of the big names like Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, Arch Linux, and quite a few more. I believe they have around 46 different distributions available. I don't think this is a complete list here because once we were doing the filter, I believe it said 46, maybe I'm wrong about that. Either way, a ton of different Linux distributions. The site claims it has 960 indexed repositories with over 3 million packages and it tells you exactly what it offers here below. Packages by search name, summary, description, provides, requires, directories, and files. It's also a powerful packages browser, step-by-step -step installations, and fast servers to help make your search as fast as possible. And towards the bottom of the About Us, we have some statistics that tell us how many repos are available for each distribution as well as how many packages. So this is quite awesome to see. When you're reading these numbers, th this dot actually represents a comma if you're unaware. So this doesn't mean 130.391 packages. Instead, CentOS 7 offers you 130,391 packages throughout their 83 repositories. So let's take a look and see which one actually offers the most. Maybe you'll be surprised here. Going through, looks like this one is the winner. Let me just do one more quick scan. And sure enough, this is the winner. What is it here? We have OpenSU Leap 15.3 with 32 repositories and 209 1,874 different packages available. Now, of course, this isn't going to have every single package out there, but it does have most and is a great source for filtering, searching, and comparing packages. Again, make sure to bookmark this if you haven't already and smash that like button. That's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video.